Dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A sample of pure radioactive nuclide initially containing N0 atoms. The initial activity of the sample is A0. The second sample of the same nucleide, so it is like having the same half-life and everything. It is the same nucleide initially containing twice the number earlier. What is the activity of the second sample after three half-lives? Okay, so before moving into this question, I'm going to provide you with the, uh, the basic fundamental background theory for what is happening here. Okay. So there are two things that we need to remember here and also uh, similar kind of questions you would be getting in the topic, I think 12.2 uh, or something uh, that will be looking similar to this. So if uh, you are a natural student, these things become really important for you anyways. So try to understand this. So first of all, there is a law of radioactive active decay and that is given by this where n naught is the total number of atoms that you have started with n is the number of nuclei left in the sample lambda is known as decay constant and t is the time after which this scenario is there so this is going to follow an exponential curve another formula that i have told you or given you is n divided by n naught is equal to half raised to the power number of half lives passed like they have written three half lives so I'm, i can call it n or i can write it as t divided by t half it means like uh, to, uh, t divided by t half is simple formulation to find number of half lives that have been spent isn't it so you can call it small n also like three number of half lives like that so this formula will be used when you want to find number of nuclei left in a sample uh, when you started with n naught after time t and the time half is given to you this is another very important formula for us now uh, there is another thing which is uh, um, activity now activity is defined as negative dn divided by dt and this negative dn divided by dt is equal to lambda n this comes out to be from the part of derivation, like when you are deriving n is equal to n naught e raised to power negative lambda t, you get this. This is the point where you start. So on integrating this and this, you get this formula. But we are now interested in activity. So activity is given by this formula. So a is equal to lambda n. We have derived this. I'm going to substitute this here. So it becomes n naught e raised to power minus lambda t. Overall, I can say that even the activity is a following the exponential pattern. Even the activity is following like the speed, the rate at which the decays are happening. Even that decay is reducing in an exponential manner. So this is about the activity. As per the activity is concerned, even for activity, this formula is valid. But the only thing is that instead of n, we are going to use the activity half and here you would be using t divided by t half, which is number of half-lives that have been spent. This is about the background information. And um, here, one more point. This is the formula like a is equal to lambda n and a naught is equal to lambda n naught. These are the most important formula. Number one, you are going to comment on number of nuclei. Number two, you are going to comment on the activity of the sample. And number three, how to relate these two. In this question, which I will say that it is one of a very important question, which you must not neglect and you must do this five times at least. This is that kind of a question. Now, activity and number of this, they are related like this. Now, this is the case number one, activity A0 and N0, they can be related to each other as this. Now, this is one of those hidden formulas or one of those... Uh, uh, secluding formulas I can say that is not present anywhere neither it is given in the books nor it is given in the data booklet it is not given anywhere so this video might be the only video where you are getting this uh, formula <laughs> you need to note this thing now so a naught is equal to lambda and not this is the first case now we're talking about the second case so now um, the activity of this I'm just calling it as maximum activity dash that will be lambda n naught dash so this time lambda n naught is actually the double the earlier one so it is it can be written like this 
so i can clearly say that now the activity is double now the activity is double comparative to the other case but we want to comment on the activity and the half lives here so we are going to use this formula which is one of the very important formulas again i have seen ib is asking you questions from this formula again and again so a divided by a not and obviously this is for the second case half raised to power number of half life is directly given so need not to put like what is the value of t and what is t half we need not to find that we can directly substitute as 3 here so this and now a dash is the uh, activity that we want to find a not dash we are going to multiply this will become 1 by 8 but we want our answer in the terms of a not that is in the case number 1 comparative to case number 1 so a not dash can be written as twice of a not I am just going to substitute it here divided by 8 so you get the answer a not divided by 4 and hence the answer for this question is b this is how we do this question my dear student please do not take this uh, question in you know like ease because this is not an easy question. This is a very difficult question, very confusing question. Provided these many formulas and the background information is not provided to you from any other source. So definitely this question becomes one of the very difficult. But this is one of the very basic questions also. So you, there is no scope that you can run away from this. You have to understand this question. You have to do it four or five times. Then everything is fine to go with. Okay, my dear students. So this is Professor Varun. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and join the YouTube channel if you want to access paper two questions. All the best.